I'm Alexa Corazon with Huffington Post, and very recently a film was released about a man who comes out of the closet about his love for trans women. The film has received mixed reviews online from the trans community. I wanted to sit down with filmmaker Wayne Mann to get his side of the story. It's great to finally be able to sit down with you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So your film has caused a bit of a stir online. A little bit. Some women in the trans community feel that because you state that you are specifically attract, trans attracted, that you are objectifying them, that you're not viewing them as real women. That's a tricky subject. First of all, there's lots of trans women online who are saying great things about the film, and I really appreciate them. These women who get very upset, these trans women who get very upset, they act like they're the only group of trans women. But there are a lot of women that I know who like being trans. And I'm attracted to trans women. I'm attracted to preoperative and non-operative trans women. So like a cisgender man, okay. when he's attracted to a cisgender woman, he's attracted to a million things. Her heart, her soul, her brain, the way she is, the way she smiles. But he's also very happy she has a vagina. I'm very attracted to trans women and attracted to all sorts of things, a million things, heart, your brain, your soul, who you are as a person, how you treat people. But I'm also happy that the girls I date have a penis. There's a shaming, a man shaming that goes on in the community that trans women get mad at you, certain trans women get mad at you for liking them. <laughs> like I've been called a faggot by a trans woman because I like her because she's a trans woman. So it's like they only want guys who are completely straight and only sleep with cisgender women to want them. And again, this is a part of the community because there are plenty of trans women who want you to like them because they're trans women. But I just find it really hard to be shamed for saying, I'm going to openly love you. I'm going to take you out to dinner. I'm going to try to have a long-term relationship with you. And I'm shamed for it. Aside from the fetishizing, there's this whole other idea out there that you are an opportunist using your obsession for trans women as a sort of cash cow for fame and profit. I'm not really getting rich or famous off this. It's a small little documentary. I have a track record in my career of projects that support the community. Um, the Oprah Winfrey trans documentary, I Am Jazz, about teenage Jazz Jennings, teenage transgender star, I, that was my documentary. Okay, fair enough. But, you know, I did some research and I saw the film myself. And I mean, you did walk around in a Batman suit for six months. You were on MTV for allegedly being abducted by aliens. <laughs> you know, so you have to, I mean, it's kind of hard not for people to think that. I mean, wouldn't you agree? I would say this, a lot of those things happened in the 80s and 90s when I was younger. Um, would I like to be famous? Hell, who wouldn't? You know, if I get a little fame out of this, I got no problem with that. What was it that just made you wake up one day and do a completely 180 degree turnaround. Was it a specific event that happened to you? Was it a, a specific girl? I looked at my life and I was a shell of a man and I was lonely and I had done horrible things. And, but I also started making transgender friends. Some of the girls in the film are my friends. So I saw these girls and I saw how wonderful they were and how strong they were and how brave they were. And like, Transgender women's bravery helped me accept myself by the way they accept themselves. So what's next for Wayne Mann? <laughs> what, what are you, what are your, now that you've created the film and you've gone on a long journey of self-discovery and self-reflection um, and you're now trying to do great things for the trans community and for yourself. I mean, what, what do you see next for yourself? I got great hair, but I'm 51 and I don't want to be alone. I want to be with someone I love. So right. per personally, I'd like to find someone and be on the road to marriage. Professionally, I'm still always on the lookout for a great transgender project. My mission, I'll be honest, I love comic books. I mean, if you saw the movie, you know I love comic books. I'm a yes. geek. I would really like 
to create the first mainstream transgender superhero? I'm assuming preoperative. <laughs> That's usually a requirement with me. <laughs> And, you know, and in, a, in a strange way, I think most trans women are superheroes in their own right. You know, well, reverting back to what you said, it does take a lot of courage to be yourself, simply to be yourself in this world. And um, I think trans women are not only an example of that, but so have you. You've also been an example of that with the creation of this film uh, and openly professing your love for trans women. So uh, thank you for creating the film. and. Um, it's been great to sit down and chat with you today, and I'm um, looking forward to hearing more about what's going on with you. I, this has been a complete pleasure, and um, I, I'm so happy to be able to have someone who saw the film and had her own opinions about it, and someone very attractive. Um, but I, I, this has been a pleasure for me, so thank you. Wonderful.